Hi, uh, good morning. It's me again, Jay, one of the tech experts here in TechMedics. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to utilize the customer journey stages and the uh, pipeline that we made. Um, if you don't have, you know, if you don't have any idea or you haven't um, seen the pipeline uh, customer journey pipeline video, um, click the description below and um, it will uh, route you on you know, creating on how to, um, you know, uh, create a uh, customer journey or pipeline. And um, right now, um, let's. Uh, uh, I'm gonna show you the three um, options on how to um, add a contact on the uh, customer uh, journey stages. Uh, the first one should be um, adding them manually here on the contact. Second is um, going to the contacts and add, you know, you can check mark all of the um, con uh, contact that you wanted to add them to the stage. And we have the third option, which is creating a workflow um, and uh, an, an automation for us to add them to the customer journey stages. So um, the first option should be um, adding them here manually on the contact which is um, all you have to do is just open the um, necessary uh, person uh, for example this uh, I created myself a contact here so once you have created and um, opened the uh, uh, contact all you have to do is just scroll down here in the contact field scroll a bit down and you would able to see opportunities Okay, uh, once you have already opened um, opportunities, just click add and then um, it will uh, show the pipeline. So this is what I made um, before, which is um, consultation to one uh, pipeline. And then the stages, you can um, choose the right uh, stage that they should be. Uh, for me, it's just new lead and then you can click create. So um, I'm going to show you um, if it would reflect. Let's try this. It's now updated. So it's already showing here on the opportunities. Now let's go to the customer journey if it will, if the contact will appear. Just going to let it load. And then let's see. Okay, there you go. Um, this is what I um, th this is what we made uh, earlier, which is uh, this one the on the opportunities part, and then um, they were added successfully here. So um, I'm gonna remove this because I'm gonna show you the, the um, excuse me uh, the the second option. Um, the second option should be going in uh, the bulk actions. So I'm going to remove this. Okay, I'm going to let it load to make sure that the, it, it was successfully removed. Let's see. Let's scroll down to make sure it's, oh, um, it's not there. Nice. Let's uh, check. Okay, it's empty. So uh, this is the second part, which is um, putting them um, manually to the um, contact, which is uh, if, uh, for example, if ever um, you don't have, um, you if you have a lot actually if you have a lot of contacts all you have to do is just um, put a check mark on the necessary contact that you uh, you wanted to um, add them to the customer journey to and um, for on my case I just have one um, contact record um, all I have all you have to do is just select the necessary um, people here in the contacts and then click 
these um, funnel icon which is the second option the once you hover over uh, you would able to see pipeline change okay click that okay select the pipeline consultation to one and then select this um, necessary stage but for me it's just for example new lead um, I can skip this few parts um, except for this uh, it needs to be opened but you can choose you know what whatever is necessary if it's one um, or lost or abandoned abandoned for you know uh, do not contact lost for um, like for example um, unresp yeah, unresponsive and one if it's interested and for me if it, uh, it, it's still open because you know I'm still nurturing it for example so that's how now and the, um, since this is a bulk actions uh, you have to um, name it properly okay on my case um, I'm just gonna name it pipeline update to new lead okay so I'm gonna update that let's see okay it says apply opportunity following contact um, I'm just gonna click okay it's gonna go to the stage and refresh it to make sure if it's there let's see Oh, there we go. It was uploaded successfully. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the best part, which is the automation, because you don't have to do um anything right after. All you have to do is just um create the automation, and then um it will um do it for you. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this first to make sure. Okay, you know. Move them here. I'm gonna refresh. I'm just gonna make sure that they are that my um, pipeline stage has been removed successfully. Let's see. Because I'm gonna show you the um, the best part. Okay, it was removed here in the opportunities. Let's check the customer journey if it's empty okay there you go it's empty so um it seems that um it's all good so let's proceed to the best part okay the best part is the automation for example if you are running an um ads or if you are uh, running a um, organic posting um what i can suggest is uh, providing a uh, form you can upload the form to your website so they can um, um, do it for you because once they once a um, client or lead has been you know, you know submitted a form they would go here to the automations so I'm gonna explain you the automations this is how my automation works um, my trigger is form submitted I have named my um, I have named my um, trigger consultation form submitted so it means that here on the form that i made okay form builder this is the form that i made earlier it has my form has is has just the generic information so uh first name last name email i'm just going to integrate this copy the link open a new tab so this is how it works okay so um on this automation um uh, my yeah i uh, i uh made a trigger from a form submission so form submission once it will trigger it will go to the opportunity which is new lead um you know uh create created it should be created opportunity to new lead okay um, consultation to one that's a pipeline name um, pipeline save should be new lead 
okay this is just an example um, you can um, customize it whatever you want but if you have you are having trouble with the um, automation I'm just gonna uh, provide a link below on and uh, we can schedule a call and um, we can uh, I can um, show you how to um, create a workflow from um, out of this and then for example on my side um, I have already have the uh, um, automate um, form right here just gonna check if I okay there you go so I'm gonna so for example if I'm the lead and um, I got a you know I one of um, that I'm interested in has a form for example this form and then I'm just gonna f simply fill up all of the uh, field needed and then at six.com okay I have um, I have um, filled it then I have filled the necessary information to on this form and then um gonna simply click submit and then let's now uh, it's now submitted now let's see the automation let's see the enrollment history okay april 11th which is uh the day today that i made this video um okay 11 1 13 okay 1 13 a.m and then um, let's check the customer journey. There you go. It's already showing the the lead itself. So um, that's all. Um, that's how. Uh, those are the three option on how to um, utilize uh, the uh, stages of the customer journey and upload a contact to the stages itself. So um, if you have any questions, uh, book a call with me. Uh, or um, if you wanted to know more about the um, customer journey and pipeline, I'm just going to leave a uh, link below on um, how to. There's a, a video guide that I could uh, provide you here in this uh, below this the description below. And then um, see you on the next video. Bye for now and uh, take care as always. Bye-bye.